Guys, like, comment, subscribe, share the video, especially if you love MMA as much as I do. Before I get into the actual prediction video, I'm announcing that very soon I'm going to be getting a ring light, probably a different camera. That way I can have better quality for my videos. Might even film my videos in a different background in my house somewhere or out in the woods. All right. So that way I can get more viewers and get to a thousand subscribers faster. All right. Um, now. Israel Adesanya was clearly winning that fight. If you look at two of the three fights that they've had, two of them were in kickboxing. When he got knocked out, he was still winning the fight. He just happened to get caught. You could say, that you, and it's the same thing for the most recent fight in MMA. He was winning the fight. And he just happened to get caught. You know, I don't think Israel Adesanya is going to get caught this time. I think that um, there's two ways this fight ends. I'm not picking Pereira. Nothing against Pereira. I didn't pick him last time. I'm not picking him this time, you know. And you're saying, well, wouldn't you be saying the same thing about Leon and Kamaru? No, because Leon's a better mixed martial artist right now in terms of skill set. He has more ways to win this fight than Pereira did, based off the last two fights I saw. Because he did have Kamaru in some trouble before he actually clipped him. Pereira did not really have Adesanya in trouble. He was outclassed on the feet. Pereira was trying to figure him out the whole time. He was getting clipped, picked apart, getting clipped up on the feet, whatever you want to call it. And he just happened to catch Adesanya. So, other than that, and the fact that he has beaten him every time they've been in combat together, he really doesn't have anything over Adesanya in terms of overall skill set. Again, I'm not trying to down him or nothing, but you can't tell me a guy who's fought six or seven times in MMA, maybe eight times, is going to beat a guy who's had 20-something fights in MMA and has overall, more overall MMA training experience. So two ways Adesanya, yep, hook em horns. Two ways Adesanya wins this fight. By unanimous decision, he remains patient. He doesn't let his ego get the best of him just like he did last time, but he keeps his back away from the cage. That way he has more space and free movement Fight him like he did Joel Romero. It doesn't have to be exciting. He's just trying to win a fight and make his money, get his belt back, and go home and help his family. That's all he's doing. Yeah, I don't like it. Don't watch him fight. Uh, or he can actually involve some grappling, take Pereira down, and submit him. Pereira's been submitted already. He's liable to be submitted again, given that he does have limited MMA experience. So is either going to win a decision outstrike him again and not get caught this time or he's going to submit Pereira within two rounds if it's the first round the first two to three minutes of the fight a lot like the Randy Couture James Tony fight when he got him in the first round 10 11 years ago and uh if it's the second round he takes him down gets an arm triangle choke victory he can do arm triangle chokes when he mounts him arm bars he can do a Kimura he can uh, transition to a knee bar. He can do all kinds of things. So not prove anything to the world. Just get his victory. And if Pereira tries to say or anybody tries to make excuses, all Adesanya has to say is what I'm saying. Well, this is MMA, man. You got to be ready for anything. You weren't at your problem. I got Adesanya and New. 